all right hey how's it going everyone if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back to another one of my videos in this video i do want to let you guys know about more of these small business grant programs that are coming out this month so i know that some of the most popular grant programs are ending for example the eidl grants i think are completely done for same with the PPP loans. I think the only one with the SBA that's open right now is the EIDL loan, the actual loan that you can get, not the grants. However, the good news is that some states are releasing new business grant programs, and some states are even adding more funding into some of their existing grant programs to help fund these small businesses. So that is what I wanna show you guys today. So very quickly, Illinois is coming out with their back-to-back -back business grant program. We also have the mayor of San Diego coming out and announcing a $12 million relief fund for small businesses. We have Harris County, Texas, who are launching their $30 million program later in this month. And then we also have the city of Tonawanda, New York, who are providing $5,000 in grants to these small businesses. So that is what I want to get into today. Just give you a quick summary about these programs. Also, there's going to be more grant programs that are going to be releasing by different states. So make sure to subscribe because I will be covering and researching these new programs once they start to be released. And if your business is not registered with these specific locations, don't worry, I do have you covered. I have been researching a lot of the small business grant programs that are out there and believe me there is a lot of programs that are still available so if you guys are interested make sure to check out my channel because I do have plenty of videos letting you guys know about the different grant programs that are currently available right now and who knows maybe you can qualify for more than one of those so the first one I do want to get into is the Illinois program that is coming out this is called the back to business grant program or b2b and it's going to have a total funding amount of $250 million. Now that's a pretty sizable amount. And I'm actually pretty excited to talk about this because my business is registered in Illinois. So I'm really happy that a program like this is going to be coming out. And then also this program has invested another $9 million in support of their community navigator organizations working in every region of the state. These organizations will provide technical assistance to businesses with a focus to underserved businesses, including those who are minority, rural, veterans, and women-owned businesses. So the funding available is that $250 million, and it is going to be categorized into specific classifications. So $100 million of that is going to go for businesses located in disproportionately impacted areas. And this is going to be classified in a map that has been referred by the DIA. $30 million is going to be set aside for the arts and entertainment businesses that didn't receive any of the shuttered venue operations grant. And then $25 million is going to go for the restaurant and taverns that didn't receive any funds from that restaurant revitalization fund. $25 million for hotels. $25 million for businesses that didn't receive any big grants due to exhaustion of funds. So if you are a business that could not apply for the EIDL grants or even the PPP loans, then you could still apply for this. And I think you might receive priority just because you weren't able to receive any of the funds from the SBA. And then the grants will range from $5,000 up to $150,000 per business and can be used to cover a wide range of operations, staff, overhead costs. And then for hotels, the, I think, max is going to be $250,000. Eligibility requirements, your business revenue has to have made less than $20 million in 2019, and you had to have seen a reduction in revenue in 2020 due to the pandemic. Priority will be given now to the hardest hit industries as well as the hardest hit areas. And then if you are a business that couldn't receive any of the PPP loans or, or any of these other grant programs that were for specific industries, then you could still apply for this. Now, how to apply? Now, the application portal is opening up on August 18th, so that still gives you a couple days to get all of your stuff ready, all of your documents ready, and to apply as soon as this thing opens up. Now, some of the documents that you will need for this program is going to be your business owner ID or your social security number, your business's 2019 and 2020 federal tax returns, and then two business bank statements, one from the period of April through December 2020, and then your most recent statement so you can compare and you can prove that you did suffer some sort of loss, whether it's from your gross revenues 
or profits. Next, we are going to talk about the Harris County, Texas grant program. They're going to allocate a total of $30 million for their fund. Small businesses throughout the Harris County that have been affected by the pandemic will soon be able to apply for grants ranging from $5,000 to $25,000. The new $30 million relief fund is subsidized by the American Rescue Plan local fiscal recovery funds. The county commissioners unanimously approved on August 10 a partnership with the Lift Fund. They are an independent nonprofit that provides loans for entrepreneurs. This organization will help manage the program and help businesses owners apply. And according to the Harris County judge, they said at a press conference that the small business revenue is down 38% since January of 2020. So they're really trying to help those small businesses that are currently and still suffering. Now, the application process for this one is a little bit interesting because the selection process will be randomized. Uh, but it will still have that prioritized based on what your classification is. So they really want to prioritize those who have been hit the hardest, the industries that have been hit the hardest and are still suffering to this day, as well as social vulnerability index factors such as the location of the business, as well as the ethnicity and gender of business owners will also be considered. And then the funds can be allocated to pay your workers, suppliers, and rent, among other things that your business typically needs to continue operating. Operations. And for this program, the application window will open on September 20th. So this is going to be opening up next month. Gives you enough time to gather all of your paperwork so that you can apply as soon as it opens. That's always been my recommendation is that you always want to make sure you're one of the first businesses to submit their applications. Don't even wait a couple days after these applications have opened up because it's safe to assume that there's going to be a massive flood of businesses who apply at the exact same time. The next business grant program I do want to talk about is from the city of Tonawanda, New York. They're also providing $5,000 in grants to their small businesses. They will provide $2 million in grants to hundreds of small businesses using federal stimulus funding that the town has received. The town will provide $5,000 each to companies with 20 or fewer workers. This is so businesses can use this on payroll expense and to pay for new equipment and other business needs as part of the small business category. So this program was also just announced on, on Tuesday, and they revealed a little bit of details, which is meant to provide relief restaurants and other small businesses battered by the pandemic. The town of Tonawanda is receiving $40.4 million this year and next through the rescue plan and will apply $2 million towards the small business grant program. There is about 2,800 businesses in the town of Tonawanda with 20 or fewer workers. So there is, I mean, sort of a competition there, right? I mean, 2,800 doesn't seem like a lot, but again, you do want to be that business that submits your application as soon as the applications are opened up. And then you could submit your application on kentonchamber.org org slash big impact and i will have this linked in the description if you guys do want to check this out the application period will open up next monday which is august 16 and will continue until august 30th so it's going to give you about two weeks for you to submit your application one thing to know is that you are going to be required to answer and say what you will be doing with that money if you are one of the businesses that does receive it however you will still have a lot of leeway and how to use it so it's not going to be very restrictive and an independent committee formed by the chamber will review the applications and recommend which should be approved for the program and at what level of funding now if all of the 2800 businesses apply and are accepted the businesses would receive $714 each on average and the maximum award is going to be $5,000. So what I'm getting from this statement is that if you are a small business and you do meet the requirements to apply for this, then odds are you will be accepted for this program. And then I also just want to give you their application portal. They do have a countdown before it opens up. So there is three days left and 15 hours. So I'll also have this linked in the description down below if it's something that you guys are, are interested in looking into. And then the last one I want to touch on is the San Diego uh, grant that was released. I did make a video about this. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to check out my channel. But just a quick summary, they are receiving $12 million in grants to support their local businesses in San Diego. Now the applications for this have already opened up on Wednesday, August 11th. So if you are in the San Diego area, you can apply for this right now. And in order to qualify for this grant program, you do have to be located in San Diego, have been in operation before April 1st, 2020. Your net profits have to fall under $150,000 or less. 
and your gross revenue could not be over $250,000. You also have to prove that your business did suffer some sort of loss and that you were impacted by the pandemic. And you could be a self-employed business, independent contractor, sole proprietor, but you must have 100 employees or less. Nonprofits are also allowed to apply and in order for you to qualify, again, you have to be located in San Diego, demonstrate a decline in revenue or service due to the pandemic, serve or participate in industries hit hardest by the pandemic like the tourism industry, retail, hospitality, health, food and beverage, and other special events and professional services. One thing to remember is that the applicants will be asked to submit their 2019 and their 2020 tax returns, and small businesses will be required to submit a current San Diego business tax certificate to prove that you are in the San Diego area. So yeah guys, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know about the business grant programs that are going to be coming out by the states. And there's going to be more that are going to come out by different states, so make sure to subscribe. Remember, even if your business isn't registered in any of these states, there's a good chance that that state is going to come out with another business grant program. So make sure to subscribe because if that happens, I'll make sure to make a video on it. I like to keep up to date with all these brand new programs that are going to be releasing soon. And clearly, we're going to be receiving um, some new programs in the month of August and then um, in the month of September. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys. If you do appreciate this type of information, consider hitting that like button and then subscribe for more content remember to take care of yourselves see you in the next one thanks for watching